such a squeaker. Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed um, yesterday's Vlogmas. Thank you so much for everyone's lovely comments. Uh, it's just lovely reading them all. So, and also I've been trying to catch up on as many other Vlogmases um, watching um, as I can. I'm really excited because this year um, we have like Tamlin from Sewing on the Tyne, Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl, um, Liz, the baker that sews. They're all doing uh, ones for the first time. So I'm loving watching them. And then, of course, um, the guys that do them every year. So like Rachel, Stitched Up, um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, Anna, You Got Me In Stitches. I mean, that's just, there, there are so many uh, vlogmases and I'm really really enjoying watching them so I watched some last night before I went to bed I watched some early this morning and I've still got probably quite a lot to catch up on so I'll be watching those uh, sporadically throughout the day so I've got up um, it's um, just coming up to eight o'clock so I thought I would come down feed the cats um, I've got the day off work today so um, yeah what I'm going to do is hopefully try and do a little bit of sewing this morning then I've got the dentist uh, or the hygienist um, at um, 11 o'clock then come back have lunch and then the plan is for me and Stuart to go to a Christmas market uh, so yeah I will obviously take you along with me uh, for the Christmas market I won't take you along to the dentist, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> but I thought I'd come down and open my tea, bird and blend advent calendar for today. So yesterday was that lovely Christmas cranberry pie. And what I do is um, I've actually kind of turned number one round so you get like the little picture of the reindeer. So I still have one in there. I didn't have two yesterday, I only had one. I kind of think maybe what I'll do is keep, um, maybe just have one and then either I could always reuse it again next year if the tea lasts that long or I'll just pick and choose sporadically after that. But anyway, let's open number two. <laughs> so let's see what this is. So we have, oh, mulled cider, sweet spiced apple. What a winter warmer. So uh, some of the ingredients in this uh, are apple pieces, ginger, oh, I love ginger, uh, rose hip, hibiscus, cinnamon, cloves, lemon peel, and natural flavorings. So yeah, that's number two. Let's give it a whiff. Oh my goodness. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. Uh, so that's what that one looks like. So I'm going to have that as my morning tea. Um, also, I'm going to uh, make Stuart a coffee. Um, and yeah, then what I'll do is I'll probably perch you um, up somewhere in the sewing room so you just can kind of see what I'm doing. I do have um, a gift that I need to make for Friday. Um, so I probably should start that first. And also I'm so behind on my makes. I'm still working through my November plans. Um, I wanted to make the um, peppermint uh, Milton pinafore in a tartan fabric. I've barely started it. Um, I've literally cut it out and I think I've sewn like some darts. That's literally all I've done so far. Um, I also needed to make a t-shirt out of some black sparkle jersey. Haven't even cut that out. I've washed the fabric though. So that's at least one step. Uh, so yeah, I'm so far behind on my makes. So I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done, but I will certainly try. <laughs> so yeah, I will uh, make myself a cup of tea, stir a cup of coffee, and I will perch you up in the sewing room.
sure I've been sewing for um, about two and a half hours and uh, yeah I've got some good progress finished off a little present for my friend and um, also uh, made a start um, on my Milton pinafore I'll whiz you round here so you can kind of see a little bit of the bodice so um, yeah these are like the straps that kind of go around the back and there's obviously straps that go over I love this V I think it's really really pretty and I'm gonna to have to measure because I think this side is wider than this side I don't know if it's something maybe when I've pressed it or something or when I've cut it I'm not sure maybe it's just just me but yeah that side does look bigger than that side <laughs> hey ho it doesn't matter um, and then I've also made progress on the skirt pieces so this is the front skirt where I've added in the pockets you can just see on there so pockets on either side and then the back skirt pieces um, all I've done on that is sewn in the darts on both back panels so yeah still got quite a bit to do um, it's now just coming up to 10 to 11 so I need to um, go to the dentist it's only literally a three minute walk down the road. So yeah, just enough time to uh, brush my teeth again <laughs> and uh, pop my coat on and uh, go out. So uh, yeah, I'll come check back in with you um, once I've been to the dentist. Um, and then uh, yeah, me and Stuart are gonna have a bit of lunch and then hopefully go to our um, Christmas market. So I'll check in with you a little bit later. Okay, so I'm back from the dentist. Oh, it's so cold outside. It's really nice and sunny, but there's quite a wind chill. So um, yeah, I sat downstairs in my coat <laughs> for about 20 minutes. Um, and then, yeah, I've just put lunch on. We're having um, some spaghetti bolognese um, that I made on Monday. So it's been in the fridge. So we're going to have kind of like dinner for lunch because um, yeah we're going to be going to um, a Christmas market over in Winchester. Uh, Winchester is about two hours away from where we are so it's a bit of a trek um, but um, apparently it's meant to be a really nice Christmas market and as we've got the day off then uh, yeah why not. I'm hoping, I'm not sure if we will, I'm hoping I'll be back in time for the um, uh, Beyond the Pink Door um, social um zoom which starts at seven but i'm not sure if i will be so um yeah unfortunately i just don't know if i'm gonna make it but we will see we'll see later now before i serve up um the dinner i actually thought um i would um show you some stuff that came in the post it's not sewing related um it's actually just some beauty things that i i order and I just kind of thought, you know what, let's fill out Vlogmas and um, let's show you what I ordered. So the first one is um, Avon. So um, I did get just a couple of bits from Avon. I haven't shopped from Avon for years. Uh, I used to have a friend at work that used to, um, you know, be a rep and everything. But um, it was Black Friday and they had um, quite a few discounts and things. And so I thought I would just order myself a couple of bits. So let me open that one first. Okay, so just thought, yeah, I'll show you these little bits. So um, first off, I ordered a Christmas hand wash, which is gingerbread. Um, I just thought that would be really nice to have in the bathroom and uh, be a bit Christmassy. So I got uh, one of those, which I think was like only a pound or something. I also got myself a little um, present for someone to gift me, be it whether, you know, I give it to my mum, my dad, my brother or Stuart to then give to me. Um, it's a little um, mini, sorry, it's a bit, a bit of a light there, um, a little mini perfume set, so little handbag perfumes. And this is the far, aw a far away <laughs> uh, range. And um, yeah, they do smell really nice. Um, I have had them before, so I thought they'd be really good for little handbag perfumes because I don't ever carry um, perfume in my handbag. Um, I just find it's too bulky and um, yeah those little diffuser things that I've tried before don't tend to work so I thought that'd be nice. Um, also got a little aromatherapy um, pillow mist. Um, this is actually going to be a present for Stuart um, because he does struggle with sleeping and things and um, yeah he kind of quite likes all the kind of sleep aids and things so I thought that might be quite nice just to give to him to uh, maybe help. 
Um, and then I got myself a little uh, blusher that comes with a little um, like brush in there as well, just because I've lost my blusher. I've got no idea where it is, so I haven't put blusher on my face in probably about three months. Um, I mean, I don't wear lots of makeup, but um, I just thought that'd be quite nice, especially winter when you're gonna have, well, you could have rosy cheeks from the cold anyway, but I kind of quite like having like that rosy cheek look um, in winter. And then lastly, these were just so cute. Um, these are a little um, earring set which has lots of Christmassy earrings on. I love the little Christmas trees and gingerbread men um, and the little candy canes. Obviously these ones you can wear kind of all year round, but I thought these ones especially would be lovely. So that is what I got from Avon. And then the other package that I got, um, just a brown box, this is from Tropic. So I've been using Tropic products for uh, about two years now. And um, it came about because one of my really good friends um, became a, a Tropic representative. And what I really liked about Tropic, unlike other sort of things, is that um, you kind of try before you buy. So she kind of gave me like some bits to try out um, and I really liked it. And you know what? I haven't looked back since. Um, I love the company. Um, they're very sustainable. They care about the environment. They're kind of based on as much natural um, ingredients as possible. Everything's vegan. Um, and I have to admit, I love using the products. I really, really like them. Um, so I'm not affiliated obviously, to you know, any of these at all. I'm just telling you what I like. So I thought I would uh, treat myself to some little bits. So let me open this. Okay, so I ordered um, a few bits. Um, first thing being a face smooth. This is a face exfoliator, which I use um, a few times a week. I just pop it in the shower and I was genuinely running low on that. So I needed that. Um, also, I've got some um, hand cream. This is superfood hand cream. Now I do use hand cream. Um, I tend to like Clarins hand cream and I've just literally run out of my bottle and um, I just kind of thought you know what I'm going to try the Tropic one to see um, if it's as good as the Clarins one because I think they are similar price I think this one might be a couple of pounds cheaper but um, yeah I just thought I would give it a go and um, I got uh, this little thing here this is called lip fudge so this is a tinted lip balm um, if you can see that there and um, yeah it's in this I think it's called pink guava so I just kind of thought that would be nice for a little tinted lip balm just because I do wear lipstick I really like wearing lipstick but sometimes just when you're out and about you just want to put a little bit of uh, lip balm on and then um, this which comes in a lovely little pouch I love that pouch um, is uh, whipped body velvet so this um, is, I haven't actually tried it before. I've tried a version of it, which I think was like a limited edition coconut version. Oh my goodness. It smells like buttercream and like sort of lemony. Oh, it does smell good. And I tried, yeah, like a little sample of this in like a coconut smell one, which is limited. And oh my goodness, it was so rich and gorgeous. Um, I do suffer with eczema on my shins <laughs> or very, very dry skin. Um, I've been able to kind of manage it um, quite well over the last kind of couple of years. And um, I did actually, when I tried this on it, it was amazing. So um, I'm not to say that if you have eczema, obviously sometimes perfumed like products and things are not good for it. But for me, it's actually worked really well. I do use one of their kind of daily body moisturisers, which is great. Um, but I thought for winter when, you know, my legs are probably at their worst, get one of those. And that does smell amazing. And because it was Black Friday, I got um, two little mini serums, uh, one of which is called the Ocean Dive, which is basically a uh, like little spot treatment. So if I have like this little lady pop up, like it did yesterday um just literally dab a bit on my finger and pop it on and um yeah you can get them in like bigger ones but i actually really like the mini ones this is my second mini one and then the other one is um rainforest dew this comes with a little pipette and this is just um like an extra kind of moisture 
um, serum. So um, I just kind of thought, yeah, again, for winter, it'd be nice to have a little one. They do the bigger ones, but um, because it was Black Friday, you got two little freebies. I picked these ones and they have so many other types of serums. Um, as I say, I'm not affiliated in any way. I just really, really, really love the products. So I just thought I'd show you that. Um, so that took up about, uh, you know, what, five, six minutes. Um, I'm going to go eat my uh, lunch now. And then, yeah, we're going to head off to Winchester. I will obviously take you along with me. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see some nice Christmassy things. I don't know what to expect from the market. I don't know if it's small or if it's large. I've got no idea. Um, but yeah, I will check in with you um, in person when I get home, whenever that may be. <laughs> So I've just literally got back, I'm out of breath because I've just literally taken my coat off and run up the stairs. It is eight minutes to seven, so I've just got enough time to log on to my Pink Door um, Zoom social. And before I logged on, I wanted to open up the advent for today because I just know that the uh, ladies in there will probably mention it. So let's have a look and see what is day number two this is number two <laughs> let's see what we've got and we have got oh iron cleaner isn't that good i didn't know prim did an iron cleaner well i will certainly give that a go <laughs> that's a brilliant day too thank you very much andrea and keris Okay, so I'm going to quickly run, grab myself a cup of tea, then do the Zoom um, and yeah, I'll just round up with you guys um, afterwards. I'm going to see if I can maybe do a bit of sewing at the same time as I'm on the Zoom, just because, yeah, I need to really try and finish off this um, pinafore because I really want to wear it tomorrow evening for my work Christmas party and I've got a really busy day tomorrow, so I'm not really going to have much sewing time. We will see. <laughs> okay. Then log on to the Zoom, I'll speak to you in a bit.
Okay, so just got off the Zoom with the lovely ladies. It's now quarter past eight. It's always lovely chatting to the lovely Beyond the Pink Door social group. It's just lovely. It's such a nice thing to do every week, which is why I wanted to get back in time to log on. And, you know, even if I don't talk that much, I just love hearing and interacting with everybody. So anyone that was on the Zoom, hello, lovely to speak to you. <laughs> and yet yeah, my pinafore, I've made some good process on it process progress on it um i've connected the bodice to the skirt now so i just need to um kind of finish off um kind of like that finishing on between the bodice and the skirt and then i need to do buttons and buttonholes but my buttons i ordered haven't actually turned up yet i did get them from ebay about a week ago but they're obviously taking their time so i don't think it's going to be ready in time for my work christmas due tomorrow but it doesn't matter um i've got plenty of other things that i can wear to the christmas do um this i can just wear any other time during december uh christmas day or when i go for a meal with Stuart's mum and dad you know all that sort of stuff so i'll have plenty of time to wear it um, and I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to get it all completed because, as I say, I've got to edit this. Um, I've got to then post it up. I still need to actually do a couple of bits um, for tomorrow. I've got another day off tomorrow and um, Stuart and I are heading to a shopping centre because it's a little tradition that we have that we go to a shopping centre. Um, I don't know where it came from. We don't really end up ever buying anything, but we just like going around and having the atmosphere and everything. And then um, I'm also going to be seeing a friend tomorrow as well. And then coming back and going to my work Christmas dinner. So busy, busy day tomorrow. So no sewing tomorrow. Um, anyway, I forgot to tell you how Winchester was. So yeah, it did take us about two hours to get there and two hours to get back. Um, it was really, really nice there. Um, there wasn't as many sort of stalls as I kind of thought there might be. I mean, it's in a beautiful setting because it's literally right outside the cathedral, like Winchester like Cathedral. Really, really beautiful. I would have hopefully inserted some uh, footage of that. It was really nice. I had two cups of mulled wine, which is really nice. Um, and it was just lovely kind of just walking around with Stuart and just being a bit nosy on some of those stands. OK, so I'm going to leave it there for today and I will see you all tomorrow. OK, take care. Bye. Bye.